Hello and welcome to another episode of my life experiences. Guys, I was so inspired a couple of days ago um, when I was doing my Bible study, focusing on the disciples of Jesus Christ, particularly Simon Peter. So, uh, he was among the very first disciples of Jesus Christ. At the very beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ, there was this other man called Andrew. So Andrew was introduced to Jesus Christ. And as you might be aware that during this time, the Jews were waiting for the Messiah. So having been introduced to Jesus Christ, Andrew, out of excitement, went and found his brother Simon, and he said to him, Simon, we have found the Messiah. So they came back together to Jesus Christ and as they had, as were approaching Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ seeing Simon, he said to him, Simon, you are the son of Jonah. You shall be called Peter, meaning a stone. He said, Simon, this was the first meeting, very first meeting that Jesus Christ had with Peter, Simon Peter. And he said, you are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Peter. Peter. So moving on um, to Matthew chapter 16, I'll read Matthew chapter 16 verse 13. It says, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, who do men say that I am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Then Jesus said to them, But who do you say that I am? Now he was asking the disciples. So Simon Peter said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon, the son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the heads shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So Jesus Christ is saying this for the second time that Simon, the son of Jonah, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, you are a stone, basically, that's what it meant. And on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of heads shall not prevail against it. So guys, I just want you to see the magnitude and the responsibility that Jesus Christ um, had placed on Peter. The trust, the kind of trust that Jesus Christ had on Peter. Because he's saying that you are Peter and on this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I'll give you um, the keys to the, of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is how I'm looking at it as a layman. I'm not a theologian, so just as a layman, this is how I'm looking at it. A great responsibility placed on Peter. Moving on to the book of John. When Jesus Christ, after his death and resurrection, before his ascension, he appeared to his disciples the third time. And this time around they had gone fishing and Jesus Christ appeared to them at the lake. So the disciples came to him, and Jesus, seeing Peter, said to him, from chapter 21, verse 16, he says, Simon, the son of Jonah, do you love me? Then Simon Peter says, yes, Lord, I do. Jesus said, tend my sheep. For the second time, Jesus says, Simon Peter, the son of Jonah, do you love me? Then Simon says, yes, Lord, I do. Jesus says, feed my sheep. Then for the third time, Jesus Christ says, Simon, the son of Jonah, do you love me? Then Simon, out of frustration, kind of, I think, 
says, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. You know I do love you. Then Jesus says, feed my sheep. Then after saying that, Jesus said to Simon, follow me. Now, Simon, instead of starting to follow Jesus, he stops and looks behind. And he sees another person, one of the other disciples of Jesus Christ, also following Jesus Christ. And he stops and he says, Lord, what about him? This is on um, John chapter 21. Verse, um, chapter 21 verse 21 starting from uh, verse 20 when Jesus had said follow me to Peter then Peter turning around he turned around and he saw another disciple also following Jesus then he says Lord what about this man okay so it's like Peter instead of following Jesus he stops looks behind sees another person following also then he says what about this man so i was quite confused with this verse because i wasn't sure that peter was a man of great revelation he confessed jesus christ that you are the christ you are the messiah and he god gave him um, a great responsibility and he told him that on this rock i'll build my church the uh, gates of hell sh shall not prevail against it i'll give you a key and whatever you bound on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then I'm saying, why is, is Peter acting like this? Is this out of jealousy? When he's asking that, what about him? Then Jesus Christ gave him a very interesting response. In verse 22, Jesus said to him, If I will that he remains till I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So Jesus Christ is telling Simon that, Simon, why are you so concerned about this person who is also following me? If I will that he remains till I come, what is that to you? Just follow me. Follow me, Peter. Don't be concerned with these other people who are also following me. What is it to you? If I will that he stays till I die, what, till I come back, what is it to you? So I found that this is a challenge that I have as a Christian, that maybe other people also may have as Christians. That instead of focusing on my own lane, sometimes I stop and I look behind and say, what about them, Jesus? What about him? But Jesus Christ is saying to me that, where is he? Just follow me. What is it to you? If I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? Just follow me. If I will, that I bless him a hundredfold. What is that to you? Just follow me, Wesley. If I will that I give him a hundredfold of my spirit, what is that to you? Just follow me. If I will that I give him promotion upon promotion upon promotion, what is that to you? Just follow me. If I will that I bless him with all the money on earth. What is that to you? Just follow me. I was so inspired, guys. Sometimes I'm so fixated on other people. Sometimes we become so fixated on other people, the calling that they have when they are following Jesus Christ, that we stop instead of focusing on our own plot, focusing on our own course, we stop and say, Lord, what about them? Lord, what about him? But Jesus is saying to us, what is it to you? Follow me. So guys, let us learn to not get so fixated on other people, the blessing that God is giving upon them. Let us focus on our own lane. Let us focus on our own course. Let us do well the responsibility that Jesus Christ has placed on us. And we should learn to celebrate with the blessing of other people. If God is blessing other people, let's celebrate with them. If God is calling other people, let's celebrate with them. Because Jesus is asking Peter, if I will that he stays till I come back, what is that to you? Just follow me. Follow me. Where is he? What is it to you? Follow me. Whatever he does, he wills to do what he wills to do. 
if he blesses another person he wills what to do if he promotes another person that's what he wills to do if he pours his spirit on another person that's what he wills to do just follow me guys I've learned, I've learned something from this that I should focus on my lane I should just focus on what Jesus Christ has given unto me and follow him thanks so much guys I hope this has reminded somebody to follow Jesus Christ and to focus on their lane stay blessed and don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the subscribe button it's not difficult just press the subscribe button and also press the thumbs up the like button till next time stay blessed